This is the Car Mount X1 and is the perfect combination of convenience and safety. With its secure hold and wireless charging capabilities, it will keep your phone in place and powered while you are on the road. With its ease of setup and adjustable design, you can enjoy a hands-free experience in your car no matter what the vehicle. Plus, its sleek and modern design gives it a great look inside any interior. It has four different ways it can be mounted, and also it includes a 15 watt wireless charger. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at what comes inside the box. Inside the box you have the actual MagSafe here which has a screw on the back for you to use for these ball joints. You have one, two, three different options that you can use to mount this unit. The first one allows you to use the 3M tape and stick this on your dashboard. The second one allows you to suction cup to your windscreen and also the dashboard itself. So you can use this unit just here and suction it to the dashboard. And you also have this which allows you to clip it into your air vent. Before we go outside and get this set up, let me tell you a little bit about the company. So they call themselves Car Mount. They have a number of different accessories for your phone for any journey that you're going on. From mounts like this that I have in front of you to cases and I have one just here that I'm going to test shortly and have a look. Also to MagSafe rings that you can use on other manufactured phones. I do have a link to their website down in the description below and they are also now available on Amazon so go ahead and check them out. Those links are down there as well. But just remember, I do earn a small commission if you do click on the link. For all you viewers out there, I have something special. Simply just select the product you want, add it to your basket and just head to the checkout. And if you type in the code inside wire, you'll get an extra 10% off on your next order. Also, let me add that if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing because I do bring you new videos every week. So this is the Carman iPhone 14 Max case. Comes very nicely dressed. It's a very nice finish on the phone and it's, it doesn't feel too heavy. The case itself is as any other case as you would expect. It has the MagSafe ring on it and it's not fully transparent, but you can see a little bit through it. Let's go ahead and see how this looks like on the phone itself. So for the case itself, we go ahead and we pop this in and it squeezes in quite nicely and fits comfortably. And that gives you your full surrounding all the way around and we have everything protected as you can see. I have found on some of the cases the button on the side is a bit more difficult to press but in this it seems to be relatively well. Now just keep in mind that this doesn't come as part of the car mount pack, this is something you can purchase additionally as well. So let's go ahead now and take this outside and have a look at the few different options and how they mount. I have to say this is my first time ever recording in a car and it seems a little bit different but we'll go with it anyway. So this is the mount I was previously using and if I quickly show you this, quick release plate at the top and because it's been on there for so long, it's left a nice mark on the windscreen as well. So with this one, I used to just click this and pop it in and when you pop your phone in, you hear how loud it is, um, that basically clips your phone straight in. Remember when I told you previously that there was four different options to mount this, so there's a little screw on the back that you would take off and this is the MagSafe adapter, and I'll quickly show you this. If I show you on the case just here, you can see it's moving around, it's not going anywhere, and it's stuck fairly well. The first option is this plate that we can mount on in either this side or this side, wherever we've got flat surface. So there's one just on this side, which I don't think you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this here. So this first one, what you need to go ahead and do is just quickly peel the 3M tape off the back of it. You can go ahead and then stick that to the dash just here. Take the little plastic peel off from the front as well and just pop that on here. So you can pop that wherever you want. It is reusable, the tape, uh, maybe once, maybe twice, but if it stays there for a long time, you're not gonna be able to reuse it. You would have to put a new 3M tape on here. All you would do on this is literally peel the tape off here and then we pop this on here. And then we have the ball and socket to just pop on here and you can put that there. Now, I don't want to get in the way of the screen, but there's actually an option at the bottom to extend this out so you can come out even further if you want, depending on where you want it. Just to give you a quick close up of the screw joint, you can see just there, you can move that in any direction that you want. So you can place that however you want. And for the second option, I'm going to show you just where I had my previous one mounted. So we'll tighten that one up. We'll pop that straight on there and you can position that however you want. So if you want that to go back a little bit, we'll loosen the screw up again and we'll tighten it there. And you can see again, just with your phone, 
go ahead and mount it. And Option number three is just popping this one on here. Now for this one here, this needs a 3M tape which needs to be stuck down just on here. So I'm gonna use a quick wet wipe just to wipe down the surface. And you can see it comes with a very small one. So you just need to wipe the area that you're gonna stick it. Just wipe it down a little bit. And also within, it comes with a dry one as well. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Make sure it's clean and dry before you stick this. And then the 3M tape, we'll just go ahead and stick it off and then we stick and hold and we'll hold it down for about 10 to 15 seconds and there we go that's stuck on there now that's not going anywhere installation is just like the other ones so the installation is the same across all of these so you go ahead you pop the screw on and then you pop this on and then you tighten it up at the back and for this one to go straight on just sticks on and there you go so just like the others you can go ahead and move it around i would suggest holding the base when you move it just so you don't pull it off accidentally but you can see that works just like the rest of them. Now, the last one I want to show you is this one. This is the one I've been wanting to try out of all of them so far. Um, just because of the low profileness, I, I like this the minimalist design. So this literally just pops on here. You tighten it up. You get it as far as it will go, and then you tighten it up. And then you can see that's not going anywhere. So if I now screw this onto here... Okay, and you can see that's not really gonna go anywhere. Uh, if I pop now my phone on here, you can see you can position it straight, you can position it sideways, however you wanna keep it, if you're in navigation or if you wanna just keep it upright. You can see it's looking directly at you at the moment, but if I wanna turn it slightly towards the driver's side, I can do that. So what do I like about this car mount? Well, it's strong, it's secure, it has wireless charging capabilities, which I think is great. I know a lot of the newer cars do come with wireless charging, but is it 15 watts worth of power? It's really easy and simple to set up and can work with any type of car as we demoed earlier. The last bonus is you can make it as a smaller profile as you want on that vent unit all the way to the bigger unit which goes on your windscreen. The dislikes, it's not fully compatible with all phones but you do get the MagSafe clip which you can buy additionally in their store which it does turn into a plus a little bit I think. It would be good if they included the USB adapter inside that you can plug straight into your car, but unfortunately this didn't. I hope at this point you would have considered hitting that like button and drop me a comment down below. If you have found this video useful, remember all the links are down in the description below. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.